Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blow Daz. Office Blow Caden. Gainer. Okay, a bit more uh, beard meets food. Yes. This is one of them, I think, uh, the rudest restaurant in America. So it's one of them that's a bit oh, like, Karen's like Karen's Diner. Karen's Diner here. Yeah. What, they can just say anything to you? Yeah, they yeah, kind just... of rude to you. And, uh, you Karen, know, they, threw, yeah, no, they threw the menus on the floor and stuff before you, when you come in. Have you ever been to Karen's, Karen's Diner? Diner? Yeah. Nah, I don't really want to go, to be honest. You don't? It's not really up my... I'd go just to give it them back. No, nah, because they, they, don't, they, they don't, don't, they don't, don't allow like it. it. They don't allow giving no. it back. I don't think so. No, that's not good then, is it? Not if it's all one-way traffic. They can have a go at me. And anyway. it's just probably just going to be annoying. It might, yeah. might be funny for the first two minutes, but then like, yeah, actually yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Especially when you know what it's like. If it was just genuinely not nasty yeah. people, that'd be funny. Yeah. 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 Anyway, let's uh, let's uh, have a look at Adam doing the uh, beards meat, beard meats food, attempting the huge eating challenge at the Rudish restaurant in America. This is Dick's Last Resort is the venue for today's episode. Crappy hour. We have a pretty famous steak challenge here, but before we get into it, I should warn you that this is one of those restaurants where the staff are intentionally obnoxious. They also like to- Sorry, well, the only thing that I'd love about this is if, if I went with someone that didn't know what the like, concept of the yeah, diner was. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like your grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She'd be She'd like, really, yeah, yeah. She'd cry. Swear a lot, and they're partial to an innuendo or two. So if you're of a sensitive disposition, <laughs> or you're watching with young kids, it might be an idea to skip this one. <laughs> yeah. This must be Dick. He doesn't look very happy, does he? Dick's legs kind of remind me of uh, Mrs. Beard's a little bit, actually. It's making me a little bit homesick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Uh, do you have to wait to be seated? Or just sit down, or? This place is absolutely huge. I've eaten a lot on this trip so far, so I think I might take one of the high tables just in case I need to stand up halfway through. So far, the only thing that's obnoxious is the music, I would say. Hopefully they'll turn this off, or down. You think they'll make an exception for me? The music is ridiculously loud. I feel like I already know the answer to this question, but uh, I'm gonna ask anyway. Hi, I don't, is, I don't suppose there's any chance to um, Chat, turn that one speaker off or down even maybe? No? Okay. Figured that would be the, oh, the obnoxious thing, I guess. <laughs> right, we're all set up pretty much. So let's have a look at that menu. Oh, look there it is, right on the front. Dick's Big Meat Challenge. I'm saying, I mean, I don't need to say anything, do I? <laughs> Eat two large steaks, Dick's huge 12 inch wing. <laughs> <laughs> Our macho natural appetizer, house salad, and a double portion of cheddar mashed potatoes. Double broccoli inside an hour and you eat three. If you die in the process, your party still has to pay. <laughs> <laughs> if you die in the process, your party still has to pay. What? It's like they're trying to play the worst music possible. I'm just waiting to order now. Just gotta wait for her to stop being rude to this family that came in to eat. They don't really look like they're into it. <laughs> Why would you not choose somewhere else? Can I, um, can, can I order? Uh, I've never been here before, it's quite the experience so far. This place is not without its shortcomings, but I think this is a, is a fantastic idea. Not only does it fit the gimmick because it comes from a giant toilet roll dispenser thingy, but it's also... Uh, yeah, the big, the big, uh, I don't want to say it, the, the, the Dick's Big Meat Challenge. Big Meat Challenge, working on the corner wasn't enough for you? I mean, I, I thought skinny jeans was a classic look. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was shocked at Baby Gap. <laughs> jeans are a stress in the kitchen staff now. Like you take about, it was like that in the railway the other night when we went in. What was that guy? I don't know if you picked up on what I said to that guy, that scruffy guy that came in. No, I don't think so. You're not seeing him? No. He was You're asleep. Not... <laughs> Stop it up. Yeah, 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 that scruffy sleep. guy came in, he's like, he's got like a donkey jacket he wears, and he's got like scraggly hair. When he walks in, he went, bins around the back, mate. <laughs> <laughs> He just stared at me. <laughs> you look like a bin man. That's funny. You're ordering this freaking meal. Can I get it uh, well done? Oh, hell no. So dry like your elbows. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Crusty. <laughs> All right, you get to choose, uh, what else is this? I don't know. I don't even work here, so you better be paying cash. Is that it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, been a God. For... Oh, you've been waiting? <laughs> I've been waiting. This whole waiting thing goes both ways, okay? What do you want to drink? Can I get some water, please? Well, that's coming from the toilet. 
Okay. Do you want me to flush it? Uh, please, yeah. Yeah, no flavor. I th I'm surprised you didn't make fun of my accent. That was the first thing I thought you were going to do. Your accent, your little s over here. Crusty elbows? Are my elbows crusty? Give me a complex. Is, is that necessary? <laughs> At least you didn't take my order like that. Is that, is that water going to be much longer or...? <laughs> we have better customers to serve, okay? Yeah, okay. There's some Americans that are actually going to tip us. <laughs> a poor constrictor can unhinge its jaw to swallow large amounts of meat, just like me. Isn't that motivating? That's supposed to go on my head. Yeah, that's motivating, right? Uh, oh I my guess. God. It's pretty good over here doing our meat challenge. Let's give him some motivation. Or don't, I really don't give a sh**. Somebody clap, please. <laughs> At least one, nobody? All right, okay. Oh, that was, wow. thank you, thank you. All right, here we go. I don't know how that's staying up under its own weight. That's super rigidity and beyond. <laughs> Magic. Yeah. Alright, can, can I ask you the rules first? I have to go. I have to go. <laughs> Just finish it. I do a wide Alright, um, where do I start? Put it in your mouth and swallow. <laughs> Good advice. Alright, let's start with what? Steak, probably. Steak, it's in already. 30 seconds yeah, in already. It's as good a place to start as any. <laughs> What's up, Welcome back to another episode. <sighs> Strap yourselves in. Today we're at the infamous, the world famous Dick's Last Resort, trying to get the better of their quote, Dick's Big Meat Challenge, which is a rather colourful menu item. <laughs> Not quite as colourful as the language used by the staff, though. I will say that. <laughs> So, uh, wish me luck! I wouldn't normally eat steak with my hands, but there isn't much space to put stuff up. Indeed, there's so much food here, in fact, that there's not a great deal of wiggle room. But you know me, I'm no stranger to using my hands, and uh, given that they dispense beach towel sized napkins from a novelty loo roll holder, I think table manners are even less of a concern here yeah. than usual. We've seemingly dispatched 48 ounces of steak fairly quickly, and it's on to Dick's big wing now. 48 ounces of steak gone already, yeah. four minutes. That's what it's called. Either that or something else <laughs> equally suggestive. <laughs> the challenge consists of 48 ounces of steak. <laughs> this, this lady approves, clearly. Um, 12 <laughs> inches of chili cheese dog, a mountain of nachos, <laughs> which I think is somewhat sarcastically referred to as an appetizer. Two portions of cheesy mash, some broccoli, and a side salad. Okay, With extra go. bacon, of course. Yeah, I don't know what to say, really. You probably have to experience it, I think, in order to fully understand it. <laughs> well, at least the chefs aren't rude. Nothing? <laughs> She's scary. Yeah, and the contempt never really lets up. You'd think they'd take a bit of a break here and there, but they don't. Anyway, you get one hour in which to finish all this, and if you can, you get the $80 meal free, a shirt, and a little paper hat with your name on it to go up on the wall. So because I didn't have much time to introduce it, uh, it's pretty much two large steaks, a humongous tray of nachos, a large chili dog, some broccoli for some reason, creamy mash and a side salad. You get one out to finish it. And if you can, you get the meal free. And a t shirt. Yeah, I think I covered that, but um, thanks anyway. Past for me. Also a good opportunity to show a couple of sexy food shots, since we were forced to begin with such uncharacteristic hastiness. I think I've just realized I'm trying to sound as British as possible. <laughs> in an attempt to kind of remedy some of the brash behavior of the yeah, restaurant staff. Dip. It's all in good fun though. And actually, I've got to be honest, the food was match? spot on. The steak in particular the was oh. unbelievably good, especially since I got it cooked well done. Uh, I think I did that maybe subliminally as a, like a payback <laughs> for the server saying that they were mad in the kitchen that I ordered this thing. 
I'm sorry you have to see this. You should turn around. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Do you reckon that's the most part? At least. Do you reckon that's the most used word in the USA? Awesome. What? Awesome. No, I think it's y'all. Y'all. Yeah. That's, y'all that's are awesome. Only, that's only down south, though, isn't it? They I don't. think they use y'all a lot all over, really. I think don't it's they? more of a southern thing. I think it's more y'all. of a southern thing. Yeah, I feel like it's more in the comments, but yeah. I think y'all's a southern thing. Hmm. The fellow diners are supportive. Well, maybe they're enjoying the show, eh? We're about, uh, what, I would say three quarters of the way through the nachos, which probably do, to be fair, form the largest part of this challenge. Oh, there's a lot of food. Ooh. Oh, it's a spicy as well. <laughs> yeah, I think that's some more Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I love that stuff here, drink it like water. Yes. Not to mention jalapenos. Thankfully, we've got some more creamy mash to look forward to, which again was delicious. It's cheesy, and you get little pieces of uh, He's kind bacon. of smashed it, though. Yeah. Ham yeah. hock in there, too. Lovely stuff. I mean, that's all messed up napkin holder, but they're rude, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you devil, you, you renegade. <laughs> That'll teach him, yeah. Still haven't finished the nachos. I'll blame the hot sauce, actually. These things are, uh, they are taking forever. This lady's about to turn around and have a gander at what I'm up to. Is that one of the Olsen twins? Could be, <laughs> I don't know. By the way, she looks suitably revolted by what I'm up to. The real question is, how is that hat still hanging in there? How am I doing? Am I doing okay? What the? <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a timer on the table there. I, I, I hate to be talking to. I think that means 20 minutes, so, right? I get one hour, right? Yeah, I don't trust you. I set my own time. <laughs> Come on now. I, I could take jokes about my appearance, but to suggest I might tamper with the timer. I don't know why I left the salad to the end. That's like the most boring part, right? Yeah, probably should have started with that. Come to think of it. Oh, I think we've got an announcement coming up. No doubt an obscene one. Yeah, I know, you, you, you're probably thinking, that was a long beep. I, I couldn't quite remember what she said to that poor chap who was just out celebrating his birthday with the family, as you can see. But um, I'm sure it was something quite unrepeatable. They've gone now, though. No dessert menu either. Unbelievable. <laughs> Not without leaving me with a hearty thumbs up, though, which I appreciate very much. We're on the broccoli now. Which you feels wait like to see a, the end, a yeah. addition. Cooked right on the money, though. Slightly al dente, just the way I likes it. And uh, coupled with the ranch, a fine accompaniment to the rest of the meal. I'm uh, picking up all the, uh, or trying to pick up all the scraps here. I get the feeling they might give me a bit of a hard time if I leave too many. Oh, just a salad to go. At least it's got bacon on top. I've got mashed potatoes oh, there. Good. Yeah, just bang a bit of dressing on there, lad. And wrap your gob around it. I think we've been eating long enough, haven't we? I'll tell you what though, this is no small amount of food. Quite a lot of people have asked me to do this one over the years and I can see why it's not a walk in the park. But the price package is decent. Almost is this like, is it, is it like a chain restaurant? I think it's just the one. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, the Karen's restaurant over here I think is a chain one, isn't it? Yeah. It's not, not of many though. I think there's three of them, maybe oh, three or four. Three. Yeah. yeah, about that. Dollars worth of grub on the house, an eternal place on their wall and a t-shirt of your choice. <laughs> I shouldn't have left the salad to the end. That, that was a bad choice. I'm just going to stand here. Indeed I did. This is one of the chefs, by the way, who, oh, uh, as far as I can tell, are less superficially rude. Quite the opposite, in fact. This fellow was very nice. Almost halfway through the allotted time now, and um, only what the... Uh, the salad and the second portion of delicious cheesy mash stand between us and another victory. It's a fun one, you know. Um, if you're into this kind of thing, had me laughing anyway. 
it must take some effort come I think just watch him press pause insult. we're just thinking why has he put the base basketball in the corner of the video but it's nice to see me yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought he put it in the corner thinking was he making a reference to a basketball shot people with some ingenuity all day long probably the kind of place you'd only really want to visit once a year or so but the uh, the staff are in truth quite friendly in kind of a weird facetious way so provided you're not self-conscious about the way you look or sound or dress or smell you'll probably enjoy it the food's probably worth any offense you might take actually to be fair i expected it to be awful i think just because a place like this probably doesn't rely on tripadvisor reviews for custom <laughs> but it was good anyway um Today, I'm halfway. Go, uh, tries my elbows now hope you enjoyed it oh, and as shit, always yeah. i'll catch you the next one She's having a break at the bar now. I get the feeling they're gonna to need to give me an inspection. And they might be quite strict about it, so I'm gonna try backing her over. I don't you have to come and tell you have to come and tell me if like if, if that counts. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. Professional. Your, no, no, your no. number just might be on the bathroom stall. Oh, sorry, Sign please. or whatever. <laughs> put your YouTube name. I don't give a sh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Say cheese. Do you have a dessert menu? Yeah. More? Finished it. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, dessert time now. I told you. Right. I told you. <laughs> 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 Well, like, yeah. I can't wear a shirt that says they call me Big Bang Theory on it though. <laughs> can't do I reckon. I was offended at Dick's Last Resort. He's got uh, shoes like my mate Brandon Clark that I did the pizza challenge with a few weeks back. Peanut butter pie for dessert. Oh, I'd like that. I t how was he eating that though? That's the most filling probably thing you could have. I know. Peanut butter. <laughs> that, that's why I left out on the disclaimer. I kind of hoped uh, that you did, considering you spent a lot of time videoing. I was like, he, he might be on something. <laughs> it just shows pain in the ass quite repeatedly. <laughs> Can't really argue with that though. It's like Mrs. Beard wrote a receipt of our entire relationship. Your cards and your poor. My card says I'm poor. Yeah, yeah we're all. The technology is accurate. They're gonna put this up on the wall, apparently. Oh, look at that! I'm not a permanent part of uh, a Dick's history. Boom. Oh, no. I, I don't want to touch her hand. I don't know where it's been. You, you say how crusty yeah, elbows are. Yeah, yeah, elbows. <laughs> I don't know where those elbows been either. Get out of here. Thank you very much. Whatever. I think. <laughs> All right, don't get arrested, okay? Try not to. <laughs> Brilliant. Wasn't as offensive as the. Uh, no, nowhere near. Wait, wait, wait. Got some more. Oh, I've got to see this. <laughs> Bam! That is amazing. Oh, thanks for watching, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, I do. It. I, I re watch his stuff a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Don't know how he does it. No, it's the, every time I watch it, I'm, I'm just amazed more and more. Yeah. And like I say, I'm glad I got into this because, like we said before, I didn't even know it was a thing. Yeah. I'm just watching him do it, and it's, it's humorous as well at the same time. Yeah. So it's, he's yeah. just a yeah. genuinely nice guy. He is, isn't he? Yeah. He puts a smile on your face, yeah. and he's, uh, he's having fun while he's doing it. Yeah, and he's, yeah. uh, He's got his quips and his uh, his uh, humour that goes with it. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, it's not as uh, rude as Darren uh, Karen's diner. No, 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 I think no. Dave went to Karen's diner and I think he got very offended. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah dude. I think he like proper like got offended. But that's the last thing that's meant to happen when you go there. They, they, they want. They, they, the, the of course, they yeah. probably like they're trying to, but they don't know you. Obviously, it can't. How can it offend you? Well, I guess it's sometimes people are easy targets, and yeah. if you get if they see you like squirming a little bit, they're gonna go in. They're gonna go in more yeah. hard. I think the way. thing as well is you, you you have a a kind of sense of what they're gonna say about you, so they're gonna say he's ginger or yeah, state the obvious. Probably could have seen that one coming from a mile off before it went. <laughs> but I think they must have said sort of stuff to him that offended yeah. him because he didn't think that that's yeah. how somebody looked at him. Yeah, it's, uh, it's they are, I know they are. Very yeah, but they're obviously not telling the truth either. No, they're going to come away. They're going to come across with really offensive stuff. And if you if you are easily offended, like you say, don't don't yeah. bother. Yeah. yeah. But I could go in them places. They could say whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you know, it's, it's their job to do that. Yeah. 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 I find it funny. Yeah. And I would as well. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget like and subscribe. Yeah. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Bye. Cheers.